right? So we got real time action going on here, guys. I'm over here watching my popcorn planet, you know, catching up with my chat peeps, and I get a notification from Ash K. And Ash K has already sent Sedona PD. No, no, excuse me. I misspoke. Let me get to the. This is just like happening real time. Like I jumped up to get over here to start filming because I was like, this is, this is exciting. It's starting to go somewhere. You guys want to like real time experience with this shit with me, right? I'm not like live streaming, but fuck. So I'm over here watching Popcorn Planet and I literally like just submitted a question to Andy too. And, uh, and, uh, at 1038, so it's been like, what? So exciting. The last two hours. She sent a message. Hello, Nikki. I stayed up late last night and read the entire case file. I called Sedona PD, but no answer on the sergeant line. I sent over an email explaining that I am looking into the case and want to learn more about the investigation. What's been done and where it stands. I left them my number and asked them to call me back sometime today. Just wanted to give you an update. Ah, and I said, because basically the last two hours has been my correspondence with her. Like, I started to film, like, as soon as I got the first message and I, like, I was filming in, like, real time and, like, chatting with her. And I was like... I realized when I looked down, I'm just like dead air. And I was like, nobody's going to fucking watch this. I was like, slow your roll, girlfriend. Do your chat with the reporter. <laughs> so the last two hours was really exciting for me. Needless to say, oh my God, they didn't answer. And so I said, um, I go, thank you. Interesting. Is it common to not get a response on the line? Or I'm like thinking like in my head already, like they're ducking me. And she was like, yeah, they're probably just on the other line. Um, I go, how long do you think till we get a response? And she goes, as for an email response, I would think sometime today, if it's the person assigned to the case, is there. I asked them to call me directly on my cell phone. Call you on your cell phone. Call Ashley on her cell phone. Get the justice for Nikki's ma. Uh, uh, uh. Call Ashley on her cell phone. I'm going fucking crazy. Don't do that. Don't crazy. Okay. So she said to call her on her cell phone. And that's when I was like, when she said the cell phone, I was like, get it, girls. Call me on my cell phone. And um, she's, she's got lots of questions. She's got like, a couple questions here. And so are you, and I, I'm telling her, like, can I bring a civil case? Can I? Anybody lawyers out there, can I bring a civil case against him? You know, for having a loaded gun. His gun. It's still an open case. Doesn't even prove that he's done it, but doesn't even prove that she did it either to herself. So, could I, like, actually take him to court and hold him liable for my mother? That's a good question. I asked her that, but she didn't answer that. Anyway, I'm asking you guys that. And then she told me that she did read the entire case file. And that, um, she told me that it was my Aunt Wendy that had reached out to Sedona PD, which I didn't go to notice that. And good for Aunt Wendy. If it's not me, then it would be Aunt Wendy. Honestly. Wendy has been holding this torch for 20 fucking seven years. I guess it is time for me to pick it up, huh? Let's just put it this way. Wendy lit the tinder. And Nikki's coming through with the fucking blowtorch. <laughs> Set the fire on this thing. Um, she told me it was in the last few pages that she was mentioned that Wendy. Um, she was like, yeah, they decided to look back in the case because of Wendy. More about Wendy. And I was like, Wendy aside, I'm like, Wendy would be a good person to talk to because Wendy did talk to my mom that night. I go, you need to talk to, I go, I go, you need to talk to my dad. My dad's the person you need to talk to. She goes, the police ever interview him? I go, in the case file, it says by a telephone, I believe, very briefly in 93, as a matter of fact, he tried to reach out several times to the police to explain that he had just spoken with her and they had a long conversation. She was leaving and going back to my dad. The decision was made that night. And when he tried to tell the cops, quoted, shut the fuck up, was what he was told by a cop. He's got lots to say. They never formally interviewed him, even though he is brought up again and again by the perpetrator. And in 2020, he hadn't even known if I didn't call him. And I wouldn't even known if Steve hadn't called me. Oh, well, I kind of knew something was up because Christina had called, but I didn't talk to her. I refused to talk to her. Talk to me. Long story. My life is so fucked. It's because it shattered my whole family. It killed, he, he, he killed more than just one person that night when he pulled the trigger. And systematically, it was like dominoes. He took out, he took out Stacy, and then the sister was the next to go. Aunt Wendy, she went down. Grandma died. You know, you systematically, like my life, you killed me. You killed your own daughter. She's a mess. Like dominoes. He's responsible for so much. I'd love to know if I, I could hold him accountable and take him to civil court. 
Um, going back to Wendy, after they spoke with her last year, they tried to get a hold of your sister to do some kind of confrontation call with Russell about the incident. She apparently agreed to, but there is no email following up whether, in fact, that ended up happening, which it didn't. She ended up flaking. I don't, don't doubt it. That's why I want to get an update on what has gone on since June, July of 2020. They're also going to reach out to directly as Russell as well. And I told her the truth. I go, that was the time of year I found out about this and she did try to call me, but our relationship is so fractured I wouldn't talk to her. She talked to Dustin, told him something was up with mom's case and that was, and that it was days later her ex-husband called to ask me if the cops had called me. I said no and Steve gave me the detective's info. At that time I stupidly sat on it and waited for them to call me. This time last year around Thanksgiving was when I finally reached out to Citadel Police Department. So from July to November, I heard nothing. As of 1-14-2021, when I got the redacted case file sent email to me because I had requested it in December, it took three weeks to redact it. So on 1-24, NADA, as of 1-14-2021, as that's when I requested the case file and it was sent to me, maybe something was updated in the meantime because from January to September, well, it just sat in my inbox and open until I was ready to open it. Wish I didn't wait so long now. As far as I know, they were never able to sit down because surprise, surprise, my sister flaked and disappeared. Wouldn't be surprised. Also, why I'm documenting this. Oh, I did tell her that. I am documenting for this for my safety. I have made that public knowledge before. I actually couldn't even tell you if she was alive or dead. I've heard nothing from her or about her since 7 of 20, 2020. And now that I think about it, I have heard nothing from her. Nothing about her. Speculation warning. Um, and then we got to the end of the correspondence here. She's letting me know that she's going into report for the day because she uh, has to go into ABC news. So, um, and then she sent me another link. Oh, this is uh, the one I was telling you about yesterday. Okay, so yeah, another lady who's like me knew that her family member didn't. I guess it was um, a girl and her sister. The stepdad had killed the sister, and for years she was convinced and she wouldn't shut up about it. Kind of like me. And for years and years and years and years, she screamed about it. Her name's Sarah Turney on TikTok until finally they looked back into it because she screamed loud enough. And that's what Ashley told me to have hope and that I should connect with her. So she sent me this link. So I'll check that out right now. But I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, I needed a community where others understand me. And Fighting Popcorn Planet was really fucking bitching. A lot of people there have been so supportive. And like, that's how I got the strength to do this. It's not easy. It's not fun. I'm not making anything from this. I'm putting my fucking my dirty laundry out there. I'm putting it out there so that I can get like closure. I'm not looking for anything except for fucking help. So yeah. Eventually I would like to go back to my normal life. I don't think I want to be a PI. With too much death. I like animals. I like my pet sitting. I decided to stick with pet sitting. But I'm still gonna solve this fucking case.